What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching. Hey, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. It's the equivalent to following a page on Instagram or Facebook. It helps me know that we're doing something right and we should keep doing it. On the current schedule, we are putting out these videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's gonna be a fun day. I'm gonna check out the beehive that I've been talking about for a while in our place. See how they're doing, catch up with the bees that I've neglected for too long. And uh, right now though, we're gonna check out the pond. You're not gonna believe this. You're not gonna believe how, how this pond is filled up. Here we go. Don't you love it when the good guys win? All right, buddy. You ready? Yeah. Let's check this pond out. Yeah. Oh. Hey, let's leave Lightning McQueen. Let me have Lightning McQueen. Let's leave him. No. I just want you to have two hands available. Let me hold him. Let me put him in the truck, okay? No. In your cup holder. No. <laughs> you really want to hold Lightning McQueen? Hmm. All day, all night? Okay, fine, be careful. So say, look everybody, look at our pond. Yeah. Holy cow. Do you guys remember if you've been watching previous episodes that this water was at least 10, 12 feet below this little bridge here, which is insane. We've had that much rain. And this is the one we put the catfish in and what else do we put in here? We put the Arkansas bullfrog tadpoles in here, buddy, you remember? Okay. It's actually not as scary having you walk by yourself out here now, because it's not that far of a drop. The water's so murky though, we can't even see our fish, can we, buddy? Yeah, it looks like the whole of the sun do it. Yep, looks like the sun do it. Man, if it looked like this all the time, I won't even worry about that back pond, putting uh, bass in there. But I'm gonna check that bass pond, I mean the back pond for bass, and just see if we lost a bunch still, if, see if it's still flowing over. I called Larry, the fish guy, Larry's Fish Farms, and he said he'd come put more in, but I don't really wanna put more bass back there if it's just gonna risk getting a heavy rain and flowing over again. I still need to cut these branches here. This week we're going to, where am I going on tour this week, buddy? Mi Missouri? I don't know. Arkansas? Two Arkansas. Little Rock and Fort Smith. Oh, that, that's where we stuck. That's where we stuck in the water. Just think about all those catfish and tadpoles living in that water right now, buddy. Isn't that crazy? Daddy. Let's go over here and see if we can get uh, some fish food. And... Hey, Daddy, look. That is where we stuck. Yeah, it is stuck. Yeah. Let's go get some fish food. Okay. Dump it in here. Yeah. And then maybe, we'll, and then maybe we'll see if we can see and okay. if our fish Let's come up. Let's go in there and get some cat food. <laughs> Catfish food. Yeah, let's go get some catfish in there. Yeah. Let's go. I'm actually getting low. The nice thing about the water being so high is we could throw it right here. Ready? Whoa. See the airplane? Oh, Hi, Mr. Airplane. That's yours. I don't have an airplane. Yes, you do. It's right there. Well, I don't have an airplane. I just fly on them a lot. But it's right there. It's your airplane. It's not mine. Oh. That's just somebody else. Oh. Where do you think they're going? Where? I don't know. The airport. Maybe they're going. That's a good guess. You yeah. think they're going to play music? Going to the airport. 
Hey, I see some catfish out there. Where? 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 Yeah, the catfish are eating uh, the food that we put out there. Oh, gone. Yeah, they're catfish are eating it. They're munching it. They to to catfish. That's like chicken nuggets and ranch to you. See another one? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, buddy, here we go. We're gonna go see if the pond is still overflowing. This is the moment of truth. See if we're gonna risk putting more fish in here or not. Or maybe it was just that one crazy day. You ready? Good news. It looks back to normal. Okay. So this is the level, it's good, we're okay. Okay. So it looks awesome. I think we lost, I mean, we had to have lost a bunch of bass the other day. This was just a freaking Niagara Falls. Hey, Rib, no, don't try to do what I just did. Why do I expect a two-year-old not to follow what the daddy just did? No, you stay, you, I don't want you to climb out here, okay? Here, you want me to hold you? Here you go. Mm. Okay, don't go to the edges. Don't go to the edge. Oh, my queen. You don't need Lightning McQueen all the time. Hey, look, I see horses. You see the horses over there? Yeah, look. Right there, you see them? My hand. Okay. Report is good. Pond is not terrible. It's, so maybe it's like a once every couple years we're gonna have a big washout. And I don't think, if there's big fish in here, I don't think they're gonna wash out. It's gonna be the little guys, which unfortunately, when it happened, it was only little guys in here. So I think I'll risk starting over, Daddy, putting fish back in. Spider web in your truck. Yep, there's spider webs everywhere, buddy. It's a country. Spiders are okay. Again? What? No, we're here. Isn't that working? Isn't that working again? Is what not working? <laughs> no, we're working. Here. You ready to go? Yeah. Inside? See Tai Tai? Yeah. No Tai Tai. Let's go find him. Look, there's a puppy here. That's Reveille from Texas A&M. She's our mascot. Did you know Uncle Park Park kept her and Daddy lived with her? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Maybe you will one day. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Johnny. How's it going in there? Y'all working in the back room? Yes. Where's Ty Ty? There's Mr. Jim. How's that music video you were in yesterday? I had a blast. Well, you can't say anything else about it besides that. That's it. Have That's it. We can't tell anybody about hey. this. This room's looking good, guys. Hey, look at this. There we are. That's Back when we played the White House. Oh gosh, I'll do that later. And this is all from when we played Iraq. Okay. You're preoccupied with a caterpillar. It's a fuzzy furry one. Those are supposed to sting or something. Comment down below if they sting. I just tell the kids never to touch the fuzzy ones. Oh my god. Okay, well, okay. Okay, anyway. So, it's bee time. We've been teasing this 
for uh, several months now. Um, we have two beehives here at our house. And um, we've had them for how long? Two years? Two, three years? Longer than that. Okay, three years, I think. They've been amazing. It's been a really fun hobby. We're definitely hobbyists. Um, we harvested honey. The first year. The, after the, at the end of the first year, we got a ton of honey. So much that we could never eat. It's really good too. And um, we actually made a bunch to give away and we still have like a huge gallon yeah. of honey left. Yee yee honey. So the, the mission today yeah. is to go in there for the first time in about six months. Check out the situation, assess the, the hive that's active, and also look into the hive that is gone and figure out what I need to do next. I love this stuff. I just haven't put enough time in it. So let's go check it out. We're, we're going to build the smoker so we could smoke them. The smoke disorients them. It kind of just uh, it takes their aggression away so they're not going to be constantly attacking me. Okay, disclaimer. There are going to be people that watch this video that are professional beekeepers. So maybe they're really good bee hobbyists. Please don't insult me. Please don't attack me. Please don't tell me that I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing. Because guess what? I don't know what I'm doing. But that's the beauty of a hobby. That's the beauty of life. I'm learning as we're going. So I read about it. I study it. And I'm enjoying the process of learning. That being said, let's get some... Uh, this is how... This is a big cedar tree. And this is my... Smoke wood. I get a couple strips. Just kind of pull it off, pull off some bark. And that is plenty for my smoker. Meanwhile, London's crying because she can't get her ears pierced right now. I guess I'm just a mean dad. So I uh, take the uh, cedar bark. And here's that. We're gonna need some smoke today because they're gonna be crazy. Actually, they might not be that bad. I could, if I see them over there, if I look over there and see like a lot of, a lot of bees on the side, I know it's gonna be a wild day. And it's not so fun when they're wild, is it, buddy? I like to go over there when they're kind of chilled out. But when they swarm, it's trouble. If you're wondering why I'm dressed so funny. It's because I've been stung on my legs a bunch because they go in my boots and so I tucked my socks over my boots. So yeah, comment that I comment that I look stupid. Guess what? I don't care. I, 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 don't, I, get I, don't, I don't go see the bees with the ranger. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, I almost got ah. fired. This fun. is like Angry Granger oh. episode of the Smith. That is really mad right now because we're just trying to film a video and all of our kids have been crying in the last five minutes. But there's no more fire. What? No ear no ears pierced today. I could spank I could use this to spank. That's the other thing about cedar bark. I could spank. I ain't scared to spank. You guys gonna go, Link? Smoker's ready. Smoker's ready. All right, let's go, guys. All right. Here we go. Who's nervous? Not me. Not me. Not me. Not you? Everybody's not nervous. Those pretty flowers. I love them. Ah! Okay, stop. I don't want the boys to get that close when we open it. Oh, uh, they're kind of all swarming out there, so. They're not bad. I'm actually more worried about this grass than I am the bees, about snakes and stuff. Uh. All right. You guys ready? You look handsome. Yeah. Okay, remember what I said, okay? Stay in the ranger. And then what? What happens if the bees come uh, over here? Uh, uh, run back home. Uh, yes, uh, okay. Uh, here we go. I actually haven't been out here in quite some time. So immediately, we have a problem here. That's been broken. Didn't we get a new one? No, well that one was new. We'll That's the one they left. We should switch it. 
All right, let's take a look. All right. Take a look inside. I gotta get the weed eater out here. Okay. So, good news is, they're not full at all. Yeah, they haven't built on top. They haven't built at all, which is a really good sign. It's a good sign that I don't have to, I don't have to act immediately. Oh no, those are still empty. Still completely empty right here. Oh my gosh, yeah. Let's see, inside there, they're all. So that's the second, the first super, which is, so this is my brew box, which is completely full of honey. That's theirs, I'll never touch it, that's the queen. So this is the first one that we could harvest. This is the super one. So this is super two. And as you can see in here, they're barely starting right there to build out the second super. Um, which is actually exactly, but that, that first one is all the way full, 10 frames full. So that's exactly where I want them to be right now. So exactly where I wanted to be. <laughs> How many bee puns can you can you do in this video? Okay. See my little girls. These are some of the most amazing creatures on planet Earth. Females constantly working. I'll be right there. Oh, Get it? Mom did it. <laughs> okay, you guys, hop out. Walk together. Hold hands. The boys are over it. Bye. River, go with Lincoln. Follow Bubby. Your back's exposed, babe. I yeah. know, paranoid. I know. Okay, um, I need to, I need to order new one of these. Let's check out this top guy. See what's up. This is the one, this is like the, uh, the abandoned apartment building. Just roaches now. Isn't that weird how they completely abandon, like not even a few stay. Yeah, they... And it's not like this hive, the bees from this hive will go to this hive. They, sit, they know their own sit down. queen. This was completely full. Now it's yeah. all ruined. All that honey's gone. Yeah, they took, they wouldn't have left any honey because that's their gold. Yeah. So they completely took all that honey. It's just a little wax left here. That is amazing. So we just need to clean all this out and start over, right? Yeah, so then the brood box, which, you know, I could have showed you the brood box in this one, but it would have been nuts if I would have lifted that off. Let's do it. There's, you want to see the brood yeah. box? Yeah. Yeah, you guys want to see it, right? This is what gives him a little bit of anxiety. Oh, yeah. Right freaking after we're finished, we're always both sweating. It's so freaking scary. It's freaking scary because there's like, what, 15,000 bees in there? Oh, right now, there's about 30,000 in there. Ugh. So it's kind of. So this is what it would. This is what it looks like empty. It's a little bit of an adrenaline rush. Yeah. Poor bees, they all died. And this is this top layer right here is my queen excluder. I say that they didn't all die. The ones that were in there, that were left. So this is how the queen. So in there, the queen stays in the brood box. She can't get out. The reason we don't want her to get out is because she lays eggs, and you don't want her to lay eggs in all the honeycomb that you're actually going to harvest because that would be larva. Even though you want larva, because that's your future population. Weird. Yeah. We it's like that. a horror movie. I know, I think we need to just get rid of that whole thing. Start fresh. So there's a dead queen in here somewhere, you yeah. know? Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is what happens when you let it go. I'm sorry, bees. You can see so many dead ones right here. Are those the bees down there? It's a bunch of dead ones, but it's not. that's not why. Is that supposed to have a cut in it? Yeah. You know what? What? 
That's our problem. That's what I'm saying. Is that supposed to have a cut in there? That's our problem right there. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. They got in there and couldn't get out? No. The queen got out. Oh. She said, peace out. Oh, because she's under there. Comment down below. Maybe a raccoon. Let us know. Is that what happened to our bees? See, that was the bottom. So something could get under there. Mm-hmm. Cut that. And then once there was a breach, the queen left and then once the queen left and went to that tree over there yeah they said peace out they followed their queen just right, like game of thrones do let's do it oh. <laughs> i'm only doing it for the youtube babe oh well, god Pray let's check us. it out anyway because i think i might have uh something i need to get out of there anyway okay we're gonna open this up pull your jacket down honey yeah let me do that He's gonna get fixed so the bees don't bite him in his back. <laughs> or sting him, not bite him. So yeah, it's a little bit of an adrenaline rush. I'm very calm right now though, so usually they say if you stay calm and don't get freaked out, then they won't attack you. But sometimes it's crazy if they land like right on your net, you think that it might be inside, and you don't wanna freak out, but it's hard. Here we go. It's just daddy. Sorry <laughs> I haven't been here in a while. <clears throat> They're pissed at you. Love you girls. Here we go. Super one. Okay. It's not bad. No, that's the super one. It's not the brood box. They are being really good today. Though. Yeah. You can actually come out here when it's raining and they, they'll all be inside. Yeah, so they hate the rain. It's easier to do. I have had lots of people that I've given the honey to the honey to say that it's the best. Did you just get bit or stung? No. Scale of one to ten. Are you are you freaking out? Me? Yeah. This is just see they seal it. Yeah, it's so tight from the. With their glue. Their little vomit. Oh, I just saw a weird looking one with. Oh, it's it's pollen. I was like, I just, oh look at all the pollen on their legs. Yeah. It's like bright red. It's crazy. They carry it on their legs. I know. I just saw one with, it looked like it had red legs. It's wild. Pollen, duh. They've been working. They can go a radius of five <laughs> miles just to get pollen. Come back. Like I said, it's just incredible species. Yeah, and the reason we have so many beautiful the flowers. Sorry. Hey girls, me, daddy. <laughs> There's, I just feel the comments coming. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be told how much we've done wrong and we know it. You We're should hold you should hold it with your left hand. <laughs> We're I might still not learning. I might not read the comments in this one, but here we go, ready? Okay, ready? Ugh. There's all that yummy honey. Oh, it's so heavy. That is probably that's probably 65 pounds. Really? Yeah. See, okay, see how this golden, beautiful, look at that right there. Mm -hmm. Incredible. You should taste it. They're working, working. The thing looks good. I mean, they're not, they're really, really, really calm. I don't know if I see if I possibly could see the queen. See, look at, look at right here. These girls are just, they go and they just, they take their pollen, they go into the flowers, <clears throat> they come into here. They travel up and they find their little pod. That smoke's getting my eyes. And they vomit in that pod. <laughs> you made it sound so good up until that. <laughs> That's what they do. I know, I know. They spit their delicious honey in there. And then, well, no, they put the pollen in there. Yeah, I know, I'm just kidding. And then they, they use their wings to evaporate it. It's crazy. Like, this thing is unreal what they do. I think everything looks good. You're doing so good right now, babe. Alright. Go, uh, here. Okay. Fill the, pick, pick that up. The whole thing or the, just the top? Yeah, the whole thing. Feel how heavy it is. I don't know if I could get the whole thing. No, no, no. The handle's on the side. Just this, though? Not that, too, right? No, just the top one. Okay. Hold that. Oh, my God. Isn't that crazy? They're just doing their little springtime duty. Look at this one, like, in there. Mm-hmm. He's smoking them, so they're all gonna come to me. That noise you hear is, what the hell, 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 what the hell? 
Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, girls. I mean, excuse me. Get off. 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 Go back in your holes. Go back in your home. People are gonna say you're smoking way too much. You're smoking way too much. I've been beekeeping for 47 years. Just kidding. No, we're just kidding. Really, if you have any tips or tricks or anything. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. Let us know. Comment down below. We read <clears throat> some books and things. Oh, there's a little bee saying hi to you. They're so pissed right now. You hear that? You hear that? I wonder if the camera could hear that. Dude, so loud. <laughs> At least now they're living off the land. For the first year, we had to come out and feed them sugar yeah, water we twice them, a week. We fed our, bee, our bees sugar water for two years. Mm -hmm. Half water, half sugar. Syrup, I should say. It's a lot of sugar. What, twice a week? We fed them right? about twice a week and they were eating about a gallon every other day. Um, once per they were per able, hive. Yeah, per hive. So once they were able to live off the land uh, without supplementing food, I stopped. I probably should have fed them through the winter, even though Texas winters are not terrible. Mm -hmm. And our springtime starts really early and our fall ends really late. So um, technically bees are okay, and especially in Texas, to not supplement feed. But if I was a true hobbyist and I really was into this, I should have started feeding about November and fed them through February, stopped March. Um, just to make sure they're good. But they, they have a lot of food. So their whole mission in life is, and by the way, a bee only lives about a month, like 30 days. So their whole mission is protect the hive, collect as much um, pollen, nectar, convert it to honey, and so that they could live in the wintertime with, when there's no flowers. So, but you can see we have Texas, we are loaded with rain and flowers and grasses. So they're rocking right now. We did it. All right, so we'll load up this, uh, the junk. Yep, we'll take it back. Start over and I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna order some new bees online and we'll start all over. And that'll be a, a really cool episode because we'll start over, we'll buy us a little queen. And she comes in a little, a little pouch like that with candy on either side. And when you put her into the hive, the bees eat the candy and free her into your your hive. You buy a nuke of bees, so that'll be that'll And then be you fun. have to take each of the frames full of bees and stick them in the new super. Yeah. Machine. And that is that a is rush. Insane. <laughs> Alright girls. Alright. Bye. Thanks for staying. Thanks for watching. See Comment down below how we really messed this up or any ideas for us to hey make guys, it better. Go easy on me, please. Go easy on me on the comments. Easy. I'm a hobbyist. I'm a country singer. Guys win. Bye.